Well, I hope you can hear me. Um, I've just been working on my makeup bot for the last four days because um, I've been quite ill. Um, had the flu. If I had two days off work. Um, I wouldn't have survived if I went to work, and none of the other people at work would have survived. But I've decided to go and build myself a uh, heated build platform. This was my old one. It's a bit of nichrome wire on a copper clad board, uh, coated in captain tape. Um, seemed to work okay, but it would result in a few warpings going on. It's just finished. Um, so I decided to build myself a normal um, heated build platform like they have in Make uh, in MakerBot. Um, because I've got the equipment, I've got circuit board stuff, uh, UV um, light box, and uh, copper clad boards, and a guillotine, and a bubble etch tank. I decided to do away with that and just build my own so six o'clock I started and I completed it about an hour ago um, let's just have a look must have been longer than that hour and a half ago i um, just been filling it onto my maker bot and giving it a, a test whirl and I successfully printed a rather nice square as you can see there uh, it's got quite a shiny bottom as well well sort of it's a bit well yeah um, but this was a first I've I'm worried about the temperature that it's heating up to it seems to be quite hot let me just check replicator G to find out Apparently it's at around 107, and it's not getting any hotter because the thermistor's not reading it. So I will knock that down to 107, just so I can turn the, the thermistor off, right, uh, MOSFET off. So, uh, I've been having major problems trying to print out the uh, Prusa Men Holiday Mendel. Um, I had an idea that I wanted to give uh, one away to... Uh, my old college because I think it's awesome um, but it's just taking too long to print and I don't think I'll print it in time A for the competition and B because um, it's just taking ages and I'll get fed up by the time I start printing a second one but I've been working away at it um, being productive over the last couple of days um, and this is my failed prints. Oh. As you can see just about, there's quite a few of them. Um, that was my most successful one. It's quite thick, but then it started jumping. And there's another one. So I might be able to use them. And then uh, what started happening is uh, my prints were stepping in the y-axis. Um, and as you can see I got frustrated with that one, I decided to snap it, um, tried different parts, it wasn't working, and then it just got to that point and I was like, fine, that's so annoying. So I spent a day trying to work out what was going on, I was adjusting the, uh, the stepper motor power, the torque coming from it. And I would start a print, and then every so often, halfway, a uh, quarter of the way through, it would then skip. Um, so I was like, right, sod it, what's going on? So I printed out a large object so I can find it, see what the raft looks like. That's how it came out. Major steps. So, at about nine o'clock yesterday, I was like, right, that's it. What's going on? So I took everything off took apart my y-axis, my x-axis many times put it all back together no, not working and then I looked at it and went nah, you idiot what was actually happening is the grub screw from the pulley on the y-axis 
where the motion was going along the rods and because they weren't greased enough it was causing them to bind and the grub screw would just loosen and then the motor spindle would spin and not the pulley so that's what was causing it so i fixed that and had a, a go at a big print this is my first attempt at this one this is uh, one of the motor that housings um, and I've been uh, playing around with the adjusting adjustments and realized that I adjusted the the specific the value which changes the width of each of these threads and I changed it to 4.5 which obviously meant there wasn't much sticking to the layer below and as you can see it's it's just completely split like that so that's going to be thrown away there we go it's thrown away and then i started having to go at some other things and so that's when i got to the point where i wanted to just give up on the make button build myself the platform the platform is available on my website let's see if i can bring up some text I don't think I can. I can do some marks like that though. Ooh, hope there are specs. So we can get them in the frame. Yeah, it's not working. Anyway, let's see if we can get rid of that. Um, so this is where my heated build platform comes in. Um, there's information on my blog. Uh, po uh, Roboteer Nat, R O B O T E E R N A T. I'm going to try and put it around there. So it'll be along there, hopefully. Um, but I've just had my first print. And this is it. This is my print. So you can see it's nice and flat. The only problem is where I've built it, I've actually affixed. The build platform onto yep that's too hot onto my platform permanently um, so it takes a little effort but here it is it's my first actual print that's come out perfect here we go even says Mendel Ooh. So that will go with my other print that I made earlier on. Um, this was made four days ago. This is my first print before everything broke. Um, and there we go. I'm so happy about this. This is fabulous. My uh, holes need a bit of cleaning up though. But it seems to, seems to fit in well. Yeah, excellent. So yeah, this is a, that's my build platform. We've got a block of aluminium. That's actually from a, uh, an old road sign, I think, um, which I got from uni. Not, I didn't nick it, obviously. It was a scrap piece that the uni had got. Um, and then that's the circuit board just underneath. Um, I've added these bolts as spaces so I can adjust the nuts to adjust the height. Um, and there we go. Yay! On to the next one now. Hopefully. Half ten. Hmm. I can make another one of these, can I? Yeah. Woo! Right.